guys, welcome back to RKB Thrifts. I think this is like my 14th or 15th episode, uh, but I'm going to get into it. I did have some sales. I just uh, I mailed a lot of them off Saturday, so I'm not going to really go over sales today. I'm just going to go. I picked up a lot of stuff over the uh, last week and the weekend, so I'm just going to go over all that stuff. Uh, tough weekend. My, my, my football team's lost, and, uh, you know. The Browns lost, but then they did pretty well, and uh, Ohio State lost, of course. But anyway, it's, uh, got my Godzilla shirt on. Picked this up as a thrift. Decided to keep it because it fit me, and I thought it was cool. But uh, let's go over some some goods here. We've got a couple bins full of stuff, and I picked up this uh, <clears throat> guitar. I need to stop saying "uh" so much. Apparently, my uh, Fiance was like, you say it a lot, so I apologize for letting me look at uh, this, some stuff here and show you guys. Picked this up for eight dollars today. It's it's a Ninja Turtle guitar, and it's never even been used. I'd probably get forty bucks out of it. I mean, check that out. Pretty clean. It's not beat up, so I will definitely put that online. Probably about forty bucks. Still got the box. Let's see what we got in the boxes here. Picked up this Build a Bear Star Wars Darth Vader Bear. Uh, Build-A-Bear stuff always sells. I mean, even if you just find, like, the... Just the clothes. If I would have just found this clothes for a good deal, I would have picked it up. Because I've sold some clothing pretty quick. Because people are uh, fanatical about these. And uh, there's one Build-A-Bear. I can't think of the name, but I'll have to tell you guys or look it up. There's one particular one that was limited edition that it's worth, like, 400 bucks if you find it out in the wild. Uh, this apparently had a voice box in it. I guess I can't. But uh, anyway. I picked up this. I believe that's Waka Flocka Flying. There you go. Squad. So. Thought that was cool. And it's a big size. Bigger size shirts always sell really well. Because there's not a whole lot out there for the big boys. And of course, I've always, I always pick these up, even though the uh, season's about to come out. I mean, the seasoning for fishing. But, I mean, it's long, long sleeve, so it'll do pretty well. But it's a fishing shirt. And I don't know if you guys know, but that right there. Of course, you can't sell, you can't say Velcro on uh, eBay. Just say hook and loop. But right there, you put your uh, rod in there and take the picture when you're holding the. You put your rod right there, then you you know hold the fish up and take your picture. So that's what that's for. A lot of people don't know that. But this fishing shirt probably get like twenty bucks or more out of it. Uh, got this. It's a, it's a small, but Beavis and Butthead. Too bad it's not a little bigger, because I'd probably keep a Beavis and Butthead shirt. Then we got, it just, uh, this was like a buck, so I said, hey, why not try to pick it up? I don't know how much it'll sell for, but if it was really a dollar. Dollar fifty. So, Christmas time starting to come come around the corner here. So start getting your Christmas stuff online. I got this uh, cookie jar. I looked at the comps, like forty or more. This is brand new. I took it out of the box. I bought it for six bucks. I took it out of the box, make sure it wasn't cracked or chipped or anything like that. But so I should probably get like forty bucks out of this. Easily. 
And then... I bought these for like 50 cents each. I got quite a few of them here. Dang, something's flying down the road, you hear them? <laughs> but, uh... These are salt and pepper shakers. Little English Bulldogs. I'll probably probably sell a pair of 12 bucks each. And like I said, I paid 50 cents for them. I generally don't buy salt and pepper shakers, but if you, I mean, they sell, I've sold some. If you can get a good deal on them, pick them up because you can make at least 10 bucks off of them, but I generally don't pick them up. All right. And then we got this, picked it up for five bucks. Comps on this is like $25. It's a, uh, just an Eminem hot rod. Uh, you put like the M&Ms in the back and then they come out, come out right here. It's pretty cool. And got some, You wouldn't think to pick up this scraggly looking weird doll, but uh, <clears throat> this is called an ideal doll, and these are retro. Looks like the dress is a little too big for this doll. <laughs> but uh, I haven't looked up the comps on this, but like I said, these are uh, vintage. Oh man, her eyebrow. I didn't look at that eyeball. Look at that eyeball. <laughs> But that's like a, I don't know. I don't know how much I get out of her, but I know some of these could go for 70 bucks or more because they're like from the 50s and 60s. We'll see what I get out of that doll. <laughs> and I started looking at plush more because I've been uh, researching plush. And like I said, plush go for quite a bit of money. Like this, you wouldn't think this little Ram, like $15, $20. I mean, why not? They're easy to ship out. Why not? Picked up another cool shirt. If this was my size, I'd probably keep it. It's animal, look at that. That's pretty cool. Got the drip. Somebody's gonna rock that. Looking pretty cool. Since I sold those LL beans so quick, now I'm always out on the look for them. You don't find them out in the wild too much, but uh, got me one. It's a LL bean. I'll probably take like a little picture of it and send it to those people that bought all the other ones. Like, hey, I got you another one. Because uh, apparently they like the size of the sleeves or something on these. Uh picked up this Harry Potter wand I think the comps on these are like 15 bucks 15 20 dollars and like I said I'm starting to look at plush more picked up this weird looking dude probably get 15 20 bucks out of them picked them up for like a buck a little flame flame dude and what I do with like the plush and stuff because people are always worried about bed bugs and whatnot what I do I uh, I'll just leave them in the bag in my trunk of my car and if you leave them in your bag in the hot sun in the trunk it'll kill if you're worried about bed bugs or anything it'll kill them so got that <laughs> Pick up the Chicago Bulls shirt. Then look up the comps. Just grab it because I thought it looked cool. It'll probably go relatively fast. And again, I mean, these were $2. I really only picked this stuff up because it had like a Pikachu in it, which people collect. It's just some random, it was just a random bag of 
some Pokemon stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up for two bucks. There's a Marge Simpson in there. We'll see. Like, sometimes I, I really don't always look up comps because, I mean, if you get things for like a dollar, you're not really investing a whole lot of money for the, like this was, you know, two bucks. And I guarantee, uh, if I look up the comps on this, it's 15, 20, 20 bucks because they just don't make it anymore. So, you know, you got the, you know. The Rock, Ultimate Warrior. You know, people collect this stuff, so don't always worry about the comps. I only worry, I really worry about the comps if the items are a little more expensive, then I kind of worry about it. But again, like this, this, this is like a DS holder, Harry Potter for two bucks. Like, I'm not going to sweat it. Oh yeah, I found another L.L. Bean. A little smaller size, but it's a short sleeve. So, that's cool. I think I said before, I pick up the uh, Nike Combat. Pick that stuff up. It usually sells really quick. They call it sell-through rate. <clears throat> it's 100% sell-through rate on this stuff right here. Uh... I picked up, got th these bowls are called, I don't know if it's Kobe or Kobe, uh, like $1.50 each. A lot of people are into this retro stuff for their kitchen, and uh, I think I'm probably 30 bucks out of all three of these. See that look? A lot of people like. I did look these up because I was... I'm not really into pots and pans, and but if they've got like a retro design on them, I'll pick them up. Get them listed. These will probably go 25, 30 bucks easy. And I'm surprised about this. It's like comps are like 40 bucks on this thing. That's got to make sure it works. It's just an old Panasonic, uh, you know, uh, recorder. So I just saw it randomly laying somewhere. I was like, a dollar, dollar ninety eight. Yeah, let's pick it up. So there you go on that. And then bubble gum machine. I've done pretty well on bubble gum machines because you know people love these things. And literally, I'll probably put this up and have it sold very quick because everyone I've, I've put up especially the metal and glass ones they sell really fast i had a plastic one that uh lit up and stuff and it sold really fast so if they're out there and you see them pick up the bubble gum machines you'll probably always see one at a thrift for some reason i see them all the time well but uh that's about it for it this week, maybe I'll try to shoot some videos later on in the week, but uh, that's all it for the stuff I picked up over the last few days. And if you like my content, please uh, give me a like, follow, and subscribe, and tell your friends and family. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.